What is going on everybody? Welcome to another basics Python tutorial video. This video is going to be concerning another standard library module called Pickle. So what is Pickle? What are we even using it for and all that? So Pickle is a serialization and deserialization module. Basically it converts Python objects to byte stream and then back again. Cool. So what does that mean? Okay, so basically what it's doing is, and in fact if you're coming from other languages, you might know this as like flattening, serialization, marshalling, stuff like that. Uh, but in Python, everyone's going to refer to this as pickling. So try not to use those other words. Some people might not even know what they mean. So pickling, again, is, to use, is used to store Python objects. So this could be like a whole lot of things. This could be maybe an object you've created from a class. This could be a variable. This could be well, obviously a variable, but this could be like a list. This could be all kinds of things that you can pickle. So why might you want to pickle or when are people using pickling? An example from our own tutorials is, for example, when we've pickled a machine learning classifier. So with machine learning, when you create a classifier, you have to you create it by training a classifier. The training process takes a while, but what your your end result is an object, and that object is your classifier. So you have one of two choices. You can either somehow save that classifier, or every time you want it, you actually have to go back and retrain it every single time. That's inefficient. So we use pickle so we can pickle or serialize into byte stream and then depickle or deserialize uh, back to a Python object. So Let's go ahead and just show a quick example. Um, let's go ahead and import pickle. Um, another example why you might use it too is say uh, you have a large data set that you're using very frequently. Every time you read in a data set, either way you're connecting to like a MySQL database, maybe you've got a CSV, maybe you're just using a flat file or something. Um, that read in process is, is takes a while and if you pickle it it's gonna be a whole lot faster so keep that in mind it's gonna be I mean sometimes your loading time uh, say compared to JSON or or pulling in from a SQL database we're looking at 50 to 100 plus sometimes up to a thousand or more times faster so um, it's useful just for anything that requires a lot of processing and ends in an object <laughs> okay so anyways importing pickle uh, next thing, let's just create an example dictionary. So we'll say example dict equals something, and let's just say it's one colon uh, something, uh, two colon something, and then three colon, whoops, colon something. And then let's just put some arbitrary uh, things in there. Good. So now we have our example dictionary. Now how will we output this, or how do we pickle this? Well, we can do something like this, pickle out, is going to equal open and we want to open dict.pickle and we're going to open it with the intention not only to write but we're writing bytes so WB for bytes if you're coming from Python 2.7 and you're watching this and you refused to make the switch to 3 just know you, you don't really need this uh, this is a requirement for 3 so now you've got pickle out now that we have this pickle out file what we're going to do is we're going to say pickle dot dump so here we're referencing the pickle module so pickle dot dump and then we pass some parameters first of all what do we want to dump well we want to dump the example dictionary and then the second parameter where do we want to dump it we want to dump it to pickle out save that and then don't forget, obviously, after you write anything to files, you go ahead and close it. So let's say pickle underscore out dot close before we make those mistakes. And that will save something to a, the, this dict dot pickle. It'll go in the same directory as your script. Feel free to go check there if you want. Now, how do we load the pickle back in? So how do we depickle something? Well, we basically go through a pretty similar path. And in fact, let me pull up. Uh, let's pull up the pickle. This is the pickle here. Let's open it with Notepad. Take a peek. Okay, so that doesn't really quite look like anything we could read, um, but that is, you know, our, our information. It's just we we don't recognize it ourselves. Makes a whole lot of sense to the computer, though. So, anyways, that aside, um, let's close this out. How do we read that uh, dictionary back into memory? Well, let me go ahead and just comment those out. If you don't know how to comment bulk, it's highlight everything, Alt 3, 
and that will bulk comment something. So now let's pickle in. So we're going to say pickle, whoops, pickle underscore in equals open, and then we're going to open that same file, dict.pickle, and we want to open it with the intention to read, but read what? Bytes. So now we have the pickle, and then we're going to, we just, now that we have that, all we have to do is we're just going to say uh, pickle load. So we would say something like this, example dict. So we're just calling it the same thing, but again, this is all commented out, so it's doing nothing. Uh, example dict equals pickle dot load. What do we want to load? We want to load this pickle in file. And that's that. So now what we can do is we could say, let's just print the example dict. And then to prove that it is indeed acting as if, as the object that it truly is, uh, because when you save an object, it also saves the data type and the object type and all that. So to prove that, let's just do print example dict uh, and then two. So if you recall, this would be the key of two. So we should return a value of two. I have no idea what just happened. There we go. <laughs> I have never used this set breakpoint clear breakpoint. Anyway, uh, example dict two, print that out so we can see that it's acting like a dictionary. Sure enough, here is our dictionary and here is our value. We can also do like three just so we can get a different number or, or letter. Actually, I used F. So that's pickling. That's why you would pickle. And um, it's pretty useful. The only caveat you should take note is you might use pickles to transfer data between maybe some servers or you might pick up a pickle or you might pickle some data from another source it's unlikely that you're just gonna parse a website that has pickle or anything but you are going to you might have it being transferred via network pickle has no security in place so you load that object you run that object you better be certain about the uh, security of that of that object otherwise you're going to run some you could run some malicious code so anyways that's pickle uh, in the next tutorial we're going to be talking about eval which is sort of like pickle if you wanted to save something into a string form or something like that but it's more commonly used if you want to read someone else's string version of something uh, anyways, that's what's up next. If you have any questions or comments on this video, please feel free to leave them below. Otherwise, as always, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support and the subscriptions. And until next time.